Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meesh uh, once again with another video. In this video, we are going to be solving two different types of sums under the topic based on factoring. Okay, so this is the second part of uh, you know our video series based on factoring. In this, we are going to take two different sums, uh, which will have it, it basically like a case study. It, it, these are like your case study where they'll ask you to find more than one thing in a sum. Okay, so let us see how to solve such kind of sums. Okay, now effective cost of factoring. Now this was already discussed in our last uh, in the previous video based on factoring the formula of effective cost of factoring. That is nothing but not net cost of factoring upon net advance taken into hundred, where your net cost of factoring and your advance taken ka formulas are advance taken nothing but your average debtors less your reserve less your commission less interest and uh, you know the cost the net annual cost of factoring the formula is commission plus interest less savings okay so similar formulas will remain the same but now the way how you're going to post it okay this is a different kind of a sum okay so chalo, let us see first we'll just go through what is the question all about and then we'll see how to solve that particular sum okay under the advanced factoring arrangement xyz limited has agreed to advance the sum of 66 lakhs against the receivable purchase from sahi traders the factoring agreement provide an advance payment of 75 percent of the value so now again 66 lakhs is 75 percent so 100 is how much okay they are giving you it is going to be for three months the advance carries a rate of 16.5 percent per annum okay it is per annum so we don't have to worry about it we will take it directly in the previous sum it was quarterly so we had to multiply by four uh, factoring commission is 1.75 percent both interest and commission are collected up front number one calculate the amount actually made available to sahi traders number one computation of amount actually made available to sahi traders rule number one we we'll first calculate the value of receivable here 66 lakhs is 75 percent so 100 is how much okay that is how we're going to start so 66 divided by 75 percent so we should get the answer as 88 lakhs from this from this we will minus a factor reserve remember 75% out of 100% 75% is value of receivable so the remaining 25% will be your reserve so factor reserve will be 25% so 25% of 88 is 22 lakhs when you subtract we'll get the advanced value of 66 lakhs from here we will first minus the commission which is uh, given as 1.75% of the receivable value so 1.75 of 88 lakhs will be 1.54 less interest interest will be on the advanced value which is 66 into 16.5 percent into 3 divided by 12 so when you multiply divide you should get the value as 2.72 lakhs so out of from 66 lakhs when you minus both these amounts you should get the funds made available value of 61.74 lakhs okay i hope everyone have understood the very first part of the sum second we need to find the effective cost okay so for that we'll find the first the actual cost of factoring so second calculation of effective cost so for factor we need to add interest and commission so commission was 1.75 percent which came to 1.54 uh come interest was 16.5 percent okay which we already calculated came to 2.72 when we added up we got the total value of 4.26 lakhs now effective cost ka formula is the total factor in you know, the cost what we got divided by the advance amount into 100 now in the i just go backward just to get the value now we got 61.74 okay fund made which were made available so effective cost will be factor 4.26 divided by 61.74 which was a loan advance into 100 you know dividing and multiplying will get the value as 6.9 percent per quarter this is per quarter we need to find the annualized amount so annualized amount will be 1 plus 0 now 6.9 divided by 100 will give you 0 0.069 raised to the power of 4 minus 1 into 100 when you apply the formula substitute the value minus it and multiply by 100 you should get the answer as 30.59 percent okay so this was the effective cost the second part third now they told you again the same thing assume that the interests are in arrears and commission is uh, collected in advance so advance amount we'll start with the third one now the value of amount which was advanced was 66 lakhs 
from that we'll minus our commission which was 1.54 we get the value as 64.46 okay now the cost factor was interest and commission together so interest and commission came to 4.26 just like the previous part now to find the new effective cost it will be very simple the cost factor divided by the advance amount into 100 so 4.26 uh, divided by 64.46 into 100 we should get the value as 6.61 percent per quarter once we have found that now it is very simple we'll just use this uh, value and use it in our annualized cost which will be 1 plus the percentage so it will be 1 plus 0.0661 raised to the power of 4 minus 1 into 100 again find the four uh, you know square it cube it four times it minus one into 100 you should get the final answer as 29.18 percent okay now we'll read the next question is given that ruby factors advances 27 lakhs to pearl enterprise against an agreement of providing advanced payment of 90 percent of receivable and for a guaranteed payment after three months the rate of interest is at 10 percent per annum which is compounded quarterly and factoring commission is 2% of receivable both are collected in upfront number one compute the amount actually made available to pearl enterprise b calculate the effective cost of funds made available to pearl enterprise and third assume the interest is collected in areas and commission is, is paid in advance what will be the new effective rate of interest okay so now uh, effective rate basically you're finding the cost of fund okay the effective cost of fund car rate okay so now the very first thing we'll start with the very first part that is whereby they ask you to compute uh, computation of actual uh, amount made available to pearl enterprise okay we are doing the first part now always remember whenever they give you a percentage and the amount which has been advanced so now here they told you they have advanced 27 lakhs which was basically 90 percent advance payment so what was the actual value of your receivable we need to find so very simple it will be the amount divided by whatever percentage they are given you okay so value of factor receivable will be here they are giving you 27 lakhs so 27 lakh divided by 90 percent which will come to 30 lakhs rupees from that value okay we have to first less your factor reserve Okay, factor reserve is nothing but the remaining percentage. If 19% is receivable, so the remaining 10% will be the factor. So 10% of 30 lakhs is 3 lakhs. Okay, we will subtract it and we get the advanced value which is 27 lakhs. Now from this, we have to subtract our commission and interest. So first commission, commission given here is 2%. So 2% of receivable which was 30 lakhs. So 2% of 30 lakhs is 60,000. Interest, interest is 10%. So interest will be always on advanced value. So it will be 27 lakh into 10% into 3 months. So 3 divided by 12, which comes to 67,500. Lastly, advanced means when you minus your commission and your interest, you will get nothing but your funds made available to Pearl Enterprise, which is 25 lakh 72,500. Okay. So this is how you are allowed to solve the very first part. Now, second, calculate the effective cost of fund made available to Pearl Enterprise. So, in order to find the effective cost of fund, first we will you know, note down the, uh, ex, you know, the cost which were incurred. So, commission and interest are the cost. So, now, second part, okay, computation of effective cost of fund made. First, we note down the commission which was 2% which came to 60,000 and interest which came to 67,500. So, the total cost incurred was, you know, 1,27,500 now in order to find the effective cost of fund okay the formula is very simple the interest you know the cost what we incurred divided by the fund which were made available okay so 1,27,500 divided by 25,72,500 okay this amount 20 is nothing but the first part ka answer okay the funds which were made available 25,72,500 into 100 so we divide we multiply we get the value as 4.96 percent per quarter this is per quarter now in order to find the annualized rate okay annualized rate will be very simple 4.96 percent is nothing but 0 0.0496 okay so it will be 1 plus 0 0.0496 raised to the power of 4 because three months okay quarters so in a year there are four quarters minus one 
okay so you you will add this you will remove the four you know the you will square it cube it and then raise to the power of four whatever answer you get you subtract it with one into hundred okay so your final answer should be twenty one point three six percent okay so that's the annualized cost of fund ka value now second assume that interest is collected in arrears meaning interest is outstanding suppose now in the advance payment okay if it interest is outstanding and commission is in advance then what will be the effect of the rate of interest so let us see how to solve the third one now in such case we always take a advance amount uh, advanced value was you know 27 lakh because 30 lakh minus 3 lakh was 27 lakhs from this okay they said only commission is paid in advance so we write less commission 2% which was 60,000 and interest is outstanding usually we even minus interest but since interest is in arrears so it won't be taken here so we subtract and we'll get the funds made available that was 26, 26 lakh 40 thousand number one in order to check the cost we add up our commission and interest so commission was 60,000 interest was 6,500 came to 1 lakh 27,500 and third to find the effective cost it will be interest upon you know, the cost upon the funds made available in 200 which comes to 4.83 percent which is nothing but 0.0483 now do this is per quarter now we needed to make it annualized so annualized formula will be you know 1 plus 0.0483 raised to the power of 4 minus 1 whatever answer you get into 100 so your final answer should have been 20.76 percent okay so with that we were able to complete uh, all the three uh, adjustments which were given okay i hope everyone have understood this so with that uh, we will be ending this video here thank you